TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget, man, if you miss a live and you want to rewatch what happened on a live, you can go to twitch.com and type in T H E E underscore L I T underscore O N E. And it's all right there for you. We do watch stuff that we don't post on YouTube or anywhere else on Twitch. So go check it out there. Don't forget we do got Patreon as well. Where we also watch stuff that we don't watch on YouTube. And anything we watch on Twitch, we put it on Patreon. There's a free version and there's a pay for a version. If you, pay, if you honestly pay for the pay for a version on Patreon, I salute you and I appreciate you. And, a lot, and, and, and you make a lot of things possible. So salute. <laughs> um, also, we got merch. Did I say that? Yeah, the link to all of that is down in the description below. But this is what happens on the driving test, UK practical test. I want to let you know, in high school, we had a driving like class, and I passed that class with an A. It was probably the only A I had at the time. Um, so I didn't have to take a test. It just I went to the DMV and they, I gave them a piece of paper and they gave me my license. I've never taken a driving test. Never. I've never sat behind a wheel with somebody next to me in a clipboard telling me I'm doing something right or wrong. I probably will though soon. But let's check this out. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you what happens on the actual driving test day. Well, what normally happens and the slight changes due to COVID. I want to say a big thank you to the team at Driving Test Success for helping me film this video. And remember guys, if any of you still need to do your theory, then I recommend the app. It's the UK's number one downloaded theory app. And yeah, I hope you find this video useful. I don't even know what a theory is. I know what the, the definition of, but a theory test, what is that? On the test day, most learners will have a one hour driving lesson before the test. If you do want a longer lesson, then you can discuss the duration of this lesson with your instructor. This mandatory? A pre-test driving lesson? is they, they, I can tell you for sure they don't do this in America. When you pull up to the DMV, be ready. You take a written test and then you sit in that car, your own car, not one that they give you, and they make you take that test. I know that for sure. But I'd recommend not to drive for too long before the test. Your instructor will meet you at the agreed pickup address. The music's smooth, ain't it? <laughs> Make sure you have your provisional driving license and theory test certificate with you. The theory test just the written test, right? Okay. During the lesson, cover anything you want to. I normally tend to go over all of them. God, her back is 90 degrees. That's tough. Okay, my bad. Maneuvers and the show me tell me questions. Arrive at the test center around 10 minutes before your test time. You don't want to arrive too early as there will be other candidates finishing off their test and if the driving test center has a car park, spaces may be limited. Facts. Your instructor should be aware of this. Not all driving... Wait, there's a driving test facility? You just have to go to the DMV and you have to stay in the line with everybody else trying to get IDs, trying to figure out regular ID, passport, all of that. Test centers will have a car park, but if there is, then always reverse park into the bay so it's easy to drive out at the start of the test. Liar, there's a car right next to you, pulled nose first. Two cars, three cars. You will then walk into the test center with your driving instructor and take a seat in the waiting room. But your driving instructor picks you up. That's cool though. They pick you up. The examiner will come out at the exact time of your test and call out your name. They will then check your provisional license and ask you to sign a declaration stating that the vehicle you are using for the test is insured. The examiner will ask you if you would like your instructor to accompany you on the test. 
If you say no, then the examiner will ask if you would like your instructor to listen to the feedback at the end of your test. I strongly advise that you do get your instructor to listen to the feedback so that they have a full understanding of any faults you made. If you decide not to take your instructor, then he or she will wait at the test centre. Currently due to Covid, the test centre will be closed, so you would wait for the examiner to come out to you. Also, your instructor will not be allowed to accompany you on the test. As you walk towards the car, the examiner will explain that the driving test will last around 35 to 40 minutes and that they'll ask you to carry out 35 to 40 minutes? One manoeuvre and may ask you to carry out an emergency stop. Before you get into the car, the examiner will do an eyesight check and ask you to read a number plate from the appropriate distance which is currently around 20 metres. The examiner will also ask you the tell me question. See, they won't do that in America. When you go get your license, they make you take a full eye exam in the DMV in America. You got, do you know those little things that you got to put your face in and read the numbers? That's how they get you. They, you have to do that. This is not a thing in America. This could involve opening the bonnet, which means you will be also ask you the tell me question. This could involve opening the bonnet, which means you will be asked this before you get into the car. If it doesn't involve opening the bonnet, then this could be asked after you both get into the car. The show me question will be asked on the move. The examiner will ask you to tell me question and show me question? What the hell? See, I've never taken this test, so I don't... I couldn't tell you this part. I don't know if that's a thing in America. ...to take a seat and will then walk around the car to check the tyres, general condition and also note down the vehicle registration plate. Another crazy thing is in America, I don't know if this is the same in the UK, but to get a motorcycle license, like to get your M stamp on your motorcycle license, to get an M on your regular license, which allows you to ride motorcycles, you can take the test on a scooter instead of an actual motorcycle. It's crazy. But once again, I took a motorcycle class where I didn't have to go take the test. I just went, gave a piece of paper, and I was good because I got all, I passed everything greatly i was a great motorcycle driver and i was a great regular driver because <laughs> i was doing both before it even was time to get this once in the car the examiner will ask you to move off when you're ready You'll be driving independently for around 20 minutes, either by following a sat-nav or direction signs. After the independent driving, the examiner will give you instructions. When no instructions are given, then just follow the road ahead. During the driving test, if you make one serious or dangerous fault, then this will result in a fail. You are allowed to make up to 15 minor driving faults. The what is a serious or what is that like? What is a serious or dangerous fault? What, what qualifies as that? It will result in a fail. You are allowed to make up to 15 minor driving faults. The 15? Golly! Examiner will not notify you about any faults you made until the end of the test. Normally, if you did make a serious driving fault near the beginning of your test, you would still continue with the test and complete the 35 to 40 minutes. But be Man, if I make a serious fault in the beginning, like, just let me know now. Because of COVID and to avoid spending unnecessary time in the car, the examiner will direct you back to the test centre if you have made a serious or dangerous fault. And once you're back at the test centre, the examiner will inform you of the result. That's a fail. She pulled nose in. I want to see how you parallel park. Reverse in there. And a copy will be emailed to you. If you were successful, then you'll be given a pass certificate and your driving licence will be posted out to you. So basically that's it. That's what happens on your driving test day. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button. And I'm not gonna lie, this is very enlightening and it explains, to, and it, it does explain why a lot of UK drivers from my personal looking over the internet can't drive. Y'all ain't been taught right. Tell me what like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.